What's going on guys? My name is Marcel. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. Yesterday marks the first day of spring 2023. So today I have seven spring outfits for you guys. And for each of those outfits, there's at least one piece or something that is basically for my winter wardrobe. So I'm trying to help you guys transition your winter wardrobe into your early spring wardrobe, how you can do that um, with a few different looks. And then we'll be adding a pair of shades to each and every one of those outfits because our sponsor for today's video is Movement and they have some really dope shades that I'm really excited to show you guys with the outfit. So with that said, let's just get started and look at the first outfit, which I'm already wearing. So the piece here, while well, I pop on these shades, <laughs> The piece here that's from the winter is primarily this quarter zip. It's fairly heavy and I was wearing it a whole lot under flannel suits, um, under heavy coats, heavy jackets. It's from Lestrange London and now I'm opting to layer that underneath a much lighter jacket from Wax London. So both uh, British brands, which I am just realizing now. But we have the navy right here and then the navy in the shirt jacket as well. Mixed in with the cream that I'm picking up with the crafted boots from Converse. A nice little matchy matchy thing. As much as I'm trying to get away from that and, and, and try more opposites, I just can't. I like matching things. Balancing the look out with a pair of gray slacks from Canali. Can be trousers to dress it up more. It could be a lot more casual with a pair of jeans, but the whole point is that you can take your thicker sweaters, layer them a bit lighter, and make them more summer appropriate. And then we're finishing this look off specifically with the Horizon from Movement. A really nice tortoise acetate frame. We have a little bit of a green shade in the lenses which I don't mind that I'm not picking that up anywhere I think here that's where the contrast is working nicely we have that cream color leaning a bit into the earth tones and um, yeah look number one let's move on to the second look number two and this one's about the boots now obviously most guys don't necessarily put their boots into the storage or wherever as soon as spring hits because there's still a lot of crispy cold days out there and on top of that, these are actually brand new Doc Martens that I haven't even worn yet. But obviously boots in the spring and I actually sometimes even wear them in the summer. Yes, you can get sweaty feet, but they look really dope. In this case, I'm wearing my brand new Docs with a pair of Koss slim fitting black jeans. Up top, a gray sweater from Burst. And on top of that, a Zara X Ruigi jacket. This is a collaboration, the second season of their collaboration, which I really, really like. And finishing that off, the Navigator for Movement, all black, black metal frame, and then the black lenses, obviously inspiring this whole entire achromatic, darker colored outfit. Same thing here. In essence, we have a thicker sweater than a lighter jacket up top. It's definitely leather jacket season, which I'm really, really excited for. I wanted to wear this thing a whole lot more than I could just because it was still a little bit too cold, but gonna be rocking this a whole lot. You can also take this off and make it even more spring appropriate with a simple t-shirt underneath but this is look number two, let's move on to the third. And here we have a green flannel shirt from Paige, which screams fall winter, but you can make it a lot more spring, summer by opting for lighter colors like this off-white suede trucker jacket. We have light blue jeans, um, both of these pieces actually from H&M on my legs. And then on my feet, we've got the Converse 70s Plus that are picking up on the green that is also to be found in the lenses of these movement glasses. This is the coaster style, and for the first one we didn't pick up on the green this time, this actually inspired the choice of the greens in here. We have a tortoise frame and those green lenses, and at this point I'd like to just spend a minute to talk about movement because a lot of you guys might know them as a watch company. That's how I got to know them. By now they have really dope jewelry, and as you can see, really dope glasses at a incredible price point actually. You can opt for polarized lenses or not polarized, it's a price difference of 20 bucks bunch of different options in terms of styles, but also colors. And like I said, overall a really, really great value. I'm genuinely stoked on several of the shades that you also haven't even seen yet that I'll show with the other four outfits that we still have coming. But look, we should be wearing shades year round anyway because the UV can affect you in the winter as well. But in the spring, summer, most of you guys are going to want to have a nice pair of shades on you, not only to protect your eyes and not be glaring straight into the sun with your bare eyes, but also as a part of your outfit, we get a little bit more restricted in terms of what we can do to make an outfit look great. So movement is a great option for that, as you hopefully agree with the styles that I'm showing you today. But with that said, let's move on. Outfit number four, right around the corner. Back to the dressed up side of things. Now is a prime time to be wearing your flannel suits. If you do have any in your wardrobe, I happen to have several because I absolutely love them. Here we have a gray one from Suit Supply. The shirt also from Suit Supply actually in white, 
Then we have a little mid layer that I think just makes it a bit more interesting. Now we don't have the height to suit underneath a coat or anything so it gets a shine, but it still might be a little bit nippy so I opted for this H&M quarter zip in black and then we're picking up on this black and white color combo with the McQueen pumped up sole sneakers that uh, give this just a little bit more of a youthful vibe. You could opt for, you know, Chelsea boots or a simpler sneaker, an all black sneaker, all white sneaker, really what floats your boat, but this is what I wanted to do here. And um, you can obviously take the jacket off, that works just as well. Um, actually, potentially even a bit better, a bit cleaner, just throw it over their shoulder. And then we're actually in the same style of shades that we were in before, these are the coasters once more, this time in black with black lenses. So perfectly matching this vibe and overall a really nice look that I'm excited to be wearing. This week, probably, I'm not gonna lie. And if the winter didn't stop me from wearing white, the spring absolutely will not either. We've got white jeans on from Kith, and I'm not gonna wait around till Memorial Day to start wearing them again, because I wore them the whole time. Anyway, up top we've got from H&M a nice light colored turtleneck, and especially if it's a bit on the thinner side, a bit more lighter colored, and paired with a white jean, absolutely spring appropriate, especially early spring. Nice little suede jacket up top. This one is from Abercrombie and & Fitch in a nice dark green. And then we're picking up on the tan a little bit with the Aquitalia boots that are actually weatherproof, even though they're suede, which is a phenomenal combination for the spring as well. Suede, super springy, but it still uh, rains every now and then. The weather goes a little bit crazy every now and then. Last but not least, finishing the look off with the Fast Lanes style now from Movement. We've got a gold metal frame and the green lenses in the classic aviator setting. This is what pilots used to wear and it works really well with this, a bit more upscale, a bit casual still, absolutely, but here the white pants definitely make it a bit more spring and summer leaning. Otherwise we have a nice earth color combo that is still reminiscent of the fall, but definitely works for early spring as well. The second to last outfit and I'm really trying to uh, rep my own brand's name today, all the way from a suit to this very street, like at this point, I still call whenever I do this type of street an attempt because I still don't think I've really like grasped it. But I do like this fit. We've got a pair of Zara X Ruiji cargo pants in cream. Then we've got the Bershka super chunky Chelsea boots. Normally I don't really buy shoes or boots from fast fashion retailers just because they tend to not hold up so great. Up top we've got from Uniqlo a black tank top. Then on top of that from Abercrombie a corduroy jacket and corduroy also really nice for the early spring. I think it works well um, if you layer it down. In this case, this is very breezy underneath. Could definitely be a, you know, a sweater or a turtleneck or a t-shirt underneath, depending on what, you know, the temperatures are looking like. But overall, nice combo. And then uh, this might actually be my favorite frame. It's the trap in black. So we got a black acetate and then the dark gray slash black lenses on here to finish that off. A bit more of a fashion forward look, like I said. An attempt, like I said. But um, I do mess with this a lot. Black and cream, nice that the cream really just brings the otherwise dark outfit a bit more into spring and that's why for me that works well. But next up we have a look that's also on the street side but a lot more wearable and a lot more casual. And this is what that looks like. We have a predominantly earth color color palette here contrasted against some white and uh, what I want to point out is that like this to me looks very much like a fall pant but it's a lighter brown pant and if you then even brighten it up a bit more with a white contrast like this t-shirt from BDG, Urban Outfitters in-house brand, or the sneakers which are from Golden Goose, also white with already some brown in there. And then to top it off with this lighter colored varsity jacket from Zara, all of those things make this whole look a lot brighter and that's when you can use your earth tone pieces. Even the ones that seem like they belong into the fall winter easily into the spring and the summer. And to finish this look off one more time, the trap silhouette, um, this time in a brown tortoise acetate frame with the brown lenses and um, I just like these a whole lot because they're very fashion forward, they're very like the silhouette that I like that is trending, that also works for me. There's a bunch of stuff trending that's a little bit too futuristic, too out there for me, but that's what I love about all these different shades from movement. Um, you have the classic styles in there, you have some more avant-garde styles, some casual styles and a bunch of different options. So I'm really stoked on all these. Um, you're gonna see them not only with these looks but with other looks styled throughout the summer especially this summer as well. So with that, let me stop for today. I hope you guys got a little bit of inspiration for what to do with your fall winter wardrobe as we head into spring and get a little bit of an idea of, um, you know, where we can take this channel all the way from suits to uh, crazy fashion forward crazy for me. Um, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to check out all the links down below, uh, especially Movement. Thank you one more time for sponsoring today's video. And I'll see you guys very, very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper, guys, and happy spring.